Welcome to King TV. Another big week coming up. One of my favourite ETAs, and let me tell you, if, for those who don't know what ETA means, Elvis tribute artist, is Dean Z. Now, we filmed him a few years ago at Back in Parks, and it was simply amazing. He went on to win the world title as, as the ultimate Elvis, and simply, he is amazing. So we have him on tonight's show. Brooke Starr, what have you been up to? Um, I've really been looking forward to our, uh, our new segment with Derek J um, that I've been part of also, which was King's Kitchen. Um, one of my favourite recipes that we have done, um, we might be showing you today. Let me just tell you, delicious, delicious, delicious. I look forward to seeing that. Uh, for those of you who also want to know about uh, Brooke, our co-host, she's part of the Witches and Brooches and performs down there and does a lot of experience in the uh, industry, not only singing, performing, presenting TV. Should we continue on with the show tonight with Dean Z and it. our regular segment right here on King TV? <laughs>
Hi everyone, welcome to Plastic EP's Trivia. Another hot segment coming up by the big fella himself, Plastic EP, goes straight into it. I've got to tell you, Peter, we've received so many emails, so many people actually ringing up on the phone and congratulating us about how great the King TV show is. They're watching every week. They're loving it. And I'm they're watching loving... it every week. I love it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I watch it too. <laughs> they're loving the whole show. Just thought I'd tell you. That, that looks fantastic, by the way. Of course, you know this is the Elvis Blue Hawaii album. And I thought I'll bring it on the Let's show. Show just our to camera show over you. there. Let's so... a nice close up there of Blue Hawaii. Sing me two lines from the song, the theme song. At night and you and Blue Hawaii. That's three lines. Let's go. <laughs> I like the hula girls in it. What's your best part in the movie? Well, I'll tell you what, the whole movie's fantastic. And, I agree. Uh, well, you know, King TV, we're trying to organise for all of us to go down there and film in Blue Hawaii very, very soon. That will be fantastic. So stay tuned, folks, because you could be part of it. We're getting a big group to follow us through to Blue Hawaii. Let's get on with the trivia. Okay, let's get on with the trivia today. And I want to tell you, in 1954, Elvis auditioned for an amateur gospel group. The Songfellas. That's... Yeah, the Songfellas. <laughs> yeah, say. He was rejected. They didn't want him. Can you believe he had the voice, but he was re rejected on that? It's a bit like the Fifth Beatle, who they rejected as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fa Fancy being in the group, they rejected Elvis Presley. Yeah, yeah, but also, you don't know, in 1955, he went on a television show called Arthur Godfrey Hour, and guess what? He was rejected again, and they said, don't phone us, we'll phone you, and continue driving a truck. Must have been a fantastic <laughs> talent show to reject Elvis and uh, keep on driving a truck. And actually, Amazing. when he was earlier, when he was younger, he got asked, I think at the age of 11 or something, to go on a radio show, but he was too shy and he didn't want to do that. So you know what that proves to me? It didn't matter about the rejection that he copped early in life. He was destined to be. Destined to be. But he, I'll put it this way. I reckon Elvis said one of the greatest voices. I'm not yep. taking anything away from groups, because you've got to understand, with the groups such as the Beatles, there's four so of true, them. folks. Elvis was by himself, and to do what he did by himself, it's unbelievable. Fantastic. I know you got some information on the Colonel, haven't you? Yes, I have. I was watching you pull all the information out of the vault before and you dropped that and I got a, a, a bit of a glimpse. So. I, I think you've been having a look at some of my questions. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> well, we know what happened with the Colonel. He was actually an illegal immigrant and he was actually from Holland and he was very scared that if he went out of the States, He'd be deported and will never be able to come back into the States. Because he never had a passport, a legal passport. Exactly right. And that's one of the reasons why Elvis didn't tour around the world, because he basically wanted Elvis arm's length from himself. And believe it or not, Elvis always wanted to tour in England and Australia. And he wanted to do that, but unfortunately the Colonel yeah. disallowed that. Well, I mean, he stopped a lot of his movies ro movie roles. Yeah, it's a lot. Look, the Colonel was responsible for getting him to where, where he was as well. Uh, so let's give him credit for what he did, but also discredit for what he hasn't done for the man. That's fine. Now, Let's move right along here. In 1966, Elvis played in a movie called Spin Out, a great movie, right? Again, with the racing cars, wasn't it? That's the one. And who was his lead lady? Have a think and don't rush. Now, I, do, I haven't got a clue, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to buzz out straight away. Who was it? Shelley Fabers. Now, what's she famous for? Well, she played in a TV show, I remember, but I just can't think, it was about a family, and I just can't think of the name at the moment, but she was, big, she was a big actress in a lot of movies. Fantastic. So what are you going to tell me about Spin Out, David? There's a phone call. There's phone calls coming through again, thick and fast with plastic. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got, plastic? One minute. I haven't got a clue what he's saying. It's your hairdresser, they just want to know if you want to change your appointment tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hang up, just hang up, please, hang up. I don't know why you give my phone number out to everybody. Let's roll it up here, Plastic, because we've got a lot. Elvis came straight out of the army, okay? And what happens is Frank Sinatra had organised for him to come on a show, and it was called the Welcome Back Home Elvis Special. Absolutely. Now, Elvis got paid 125000 for that performance. What, one performance in 1958? Yeah, and Frank wasn't too keen about the money that he actually made, 125000 But what happens is he would put his career back on track, and they did duets, like Elvis ended up singing some Frank Sinatra songs. Well, actually, I know that one. That was Witchcraft. Oh, that Witchcraft. And, and what did uh, Frank Sinatra sing? He was singing some Elvis songs. He was doing Love Me Tender. You've got to understand something. Frank Sinatra was a crooner. He had so many fans. He was like pre-Elvis. It's true. And seriously, he'd play in um, cinemas and whatever live. 
and there'd be girls and girls outside. It was like pre-Beatlemania, pre-Elvis mania. And that That's was Frank Sinatra. Like. That was Frank Sinatra. Yeah. But Elvis took over, as we all know. <laughs> once, once Elvis came over, Bobby Darren's, Frank Sinatra, the whole lot, it was all demolished. And also, I've got to tell you, if there was no Elvis, there would have been no Beatles. That is a fact. Even John Lennon said that. Well, if there was no Elvis, I think we would be have most of the songs that we have in this current um, generation of songs and so forth. And Plastic EP, every week I love uh, uh, hearing all your information. Can you blow us away next week with something huge? I want you to come up with something huge that the whole audience out there in King TV land can say, well, that was amazing. I heard a rumour that you wanted me to do a kissing booth, and I've been refusing to do that idea. Folks, believe it or not, we, we have to cut this short, but we actually got an email that, that said they wanted to put Plastic EP at a kissing booth. Plastic EP, can you believe it? We're going to cross over for a commercial break, right here on King TV. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of King's Kitchen. I'm Brooke Kotsis, and we have our, our fabulous chef, Mr. Derek J. Um, Derek, what have you prepared here in front of us? This is for Elvis' uh, mom's pudding, uh, bread pudding. Elvis loves it. Every Christmas, he wants his mom to bread, make the uh, bread pudding for him. So today, I'm going to show our viewers how Elvis' mom did the bread pudding, the old-fashioned way. So I, I got uh, one loaf of white bread, uh, dissolved with milk and, and sugar. Mm, wow. And then to, to add, I want you to uh, put an egg for us. Oh, we can crack an egg. egg. Crack an egg. Yeah. And uh, you've got to beat the egg. Of course, Which make sure that there's no shells in there. That's right. All right, Let's and beat the egg. And um, only one egg we, we're using? Yeah, we're using only one egg. All right, beat that up. Yeah. Elvis also liked the walnuts and sultanas. So I'm going to add that onto this uh, mixture here for the that to the walnut. I've got to break that into little pieces. That's looking a little bit healthier. <laughs> Alright. All right. We and we'll put the egg in there. Put the egg in there. And just like yeah, so. Just like so. Beautiful. All right. Now I want uh, five drops of almond essence. Five drops, okay. Let's see how we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. And a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Teaspoon. No, it's all right. Yes. Just a, <laughs> yes. You like to work with free hands. Yeah, free hands. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we're going to give it a good mix here. So this has sugar, sultanas, walnuts, one egg, uh, a bit of uh, almond essence, and also I'm going to add, is that cinnamon? Cinnamon all ground. Right. That's right. All right. There we go. Cinnamon brown. Very little. Okay, that's enough. And uh, <laughs> you've got cloves there? Cloves, uh, yeah. that's right. We've got some cloves. Clove powder. Just a little bit of clove just, powder just as well. Just a little. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> got so excited. All right. So what I'm going to do is the old-fashioned way, you know, uh, this is the way they made the bread pudding. Uh, Elvis's mom did the bread pudding. She had a little glass in this little container like this and put put the the bread pudding like this. Around the glass? Around the glass. This came about, normally she, she used to uh, steam it, but uh, when the microwave came, they had, they were the one of the first people to uh, get a microwave. Really? Well, obviously they're the Presleys. <laughs> they're the Presleys. <laughs> So I'm going to put this for just seven minutes yeah. and we've got a beautiful bread pudding which uh, Elvis wanted this particular pudding every Christmas. Well I'm looking forward to tasting it. Let's put it in the microwave. Okay, let's put it. Alright. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have had the pudding in the microwave for seven minutes um, and now I think we're ready to serve it. So um, Derek is just going to cut up some small slices. Small slices. That's, yes. the, that's the first slice. 
pop them on the plate and then hopefully we can all enjoy them the way Elvis Presley did <laughs> on Christmas Day when he ate it with his family. The famous bread pudding. Oh, and you can see the steam, it looks quite, quite hot. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we do need someone to help us try this. So I'm gonna call forward the one, the only, Plastic EP. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Hello Derek. Hello, man. Hello, man. Derek, this is for you. Oh, no. thanks. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Sorry. Oh. I had to go past the nursery really fast. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're like the flash. You're in and out as That's fast it. as you can. All right. Um, now, we've just made Elvis's uh, favorite bread pudding. Um, would you like to try it? Why not? I think I have to take out life insurance and our health policy here. <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank Maybe. you so much, Jerry. All right, so what are we actually calling this? Elvis is what? Pudding? Bread, bread pudding. Bread pudding. His right. grandma used to make this for him. Yeah, his, yeah and his mother. And his mother. All right, let's try Okay, gotcha. Mm. Mm. Hot and tasty. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh, oh. That was really hot. I was very flat. Are you going to spit on me? <laughs> I'm burning. Yeah, burning. Mm. You haven't seen burning? I need water. Mm. That is very hot. Derek, but that is amazing. That is really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. So very quick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I would definitely have this. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, you've watched a full uh, episode of King's Kitchen. Thank you so much. I've been Brooke Hotsas. We've had Plastic EP. We've had the fabulous Derek J. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. There's a snowflake on a cold and gray Chicago morning. Another little baby child was born in the ghetto, and his mama cried. Can say, oh, I can't say it, but you can say it. Oh my goodness, hot, 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 those moves. He got the crowd going for sure, 120%. Not only the crowd, he got me going, he got you going, everyone here <laughs> in the studio just Ooh, simply... It's getting a bit hot in here, I think. He, he was pretty good, wasn't he? Actually, not pretty good. He <laughs> Very was good. fantastic. Yes. And that's how he won the world title as well. 
Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, what I've got to say. Tell uh, me. The scene plastic EP tonight. I, I was laughing, actually, <laughs> because everything that he brings up, he turns into a joke. But guess what? what? It's, it's all fact. Everything he tells you is a fact. And uh, the fact is that this show is getting bigger and bigger every week, and I look forward to next week with you, Brookstar. I cannot wait. So join us again next week as we continue right here on King, King TV. TV.